Assalamu alaikum friends, students, everyone. I'm here with a new video that is related to SAP Sforhana. Interestingly, I have made several videos that are relevant to other areas of SAP Sforhana, but uh, yesterday I was uh, searching for a Sforhana navigation video, but I found out that I did not uh, create the one. So today I decided that I am going to uh, record a very short video related to SAP as for HANA introduction. So how we are going to start? First of all, we are going to uh, go for a link that is given to us. By the way, I'm using this uh, SAP as for HANA that is actually a web interface. So you do not need to uh, install it on your computer or any other place. You just uh, put the link that definitely will be given to you by your service provider and then you will reach to the screen where you can see user ID password and all these things this is a new interface and uh, especially for my students who are going to do the course MIS348 with me in this semester uh, they have to be very careful when they are on this screen they will put their user ID here password here that is already given to you and the client always will be 253. What actually this client all, uh, 253, uh, when uh, SAP service provider provide you a link for SAP, they have some uh, number that is allocated against your license, whatever you have paid to them. So this 253 is fixed for you, my students. Those people who are going to use it from any other, uh, any other place or they are uh, employee of any other company, they definitely have different client number. So for my students, it is 253. Okay, now I'm what I'm going to do, I'm going to click here on login. And by the way, those um, my students, uh, you receive the user ID password. So what you do when you are going to put your user ID here and the password, initial password here, then you will press here on change password. And when you click on change password, it will ask you the First, it will ask you the current, the initial password, and then you are going to enter the password. Like when you click here, like this, your this is uh, your current password, and then you can put your new password here and here in the repeat one, and then you press change password. So this is how you have to do this activity first time with the user ID password I have given. Once you change it, then you have to remember what the password you have changed it. So every time you are going to use that new password and your username. So this is a one time activity that you are going to do. So I already have changed my password, so I'm not going to change it. I'll just cancel this and I'll be back on the screen here. So what actually happened when I click cancel, it logged me in with my user ID and here is the screen. So basically the home screen is this one so i do not reach to the home screen you will reach to the home screen with the url i will give you but uh, because i have just extended url so it bring me to this screen so when you have to come back to your home screen what you do you will click here on this app logo and here is the main screen by the way this interface is called SAP fiori interface in which things are looking like uh, the apps, the tiles here. Uh, in the earlier version, that was SAP ERP, and there is also GUI version of SAP as for HANA. Uh, in that version, still you are going to have icons and the levels. You will click on the levels and then go inside and run the transaction. Over here, it is not the case. It is very easy uh, interface as far as those people who have already used GUI interface. For those students who are using it first time, so for them, they cannot compare. So maybe some will say that it is easy, some will say that it is difficult. But uh, why people used to say difficult? Because when you see so many things on the screen, uh, you initially feel that which option you have to use, where you have to go. But I will tell you when you do the, use this system two, three weeks on with different exercises, you will be used to of it that how you are going to use this system. First thing I can tell you related to this system is 
that in this system you will have so many options. So you are not required to use all the options. So what will happen when you do the coming upcoming exercises? You will see the commands are there, the steps are given that where you have to go, what you have to do. So you will just follow those paths. You will just follow those instructions. So that will make your life easier. Now here I am going to show you few part of this, uh, a few segments of this screen. First of all, they all are the apps inside the main apps. Like see here, controlling, enterprise asset management, financial accounting, human capital management, master group, material management and so on. Now there are several ways to see this screen. One you can if you start scrolling up and down, what you can see, options are there. And with different options, what actually happen? These uh, well, no, these uh, things are going to be changed. These headings will be changed. Or if you click on these one, what you can see, you can see the options are changed. Like this, like this, like this, like this. First of all, I will tell you how you are going to, and you can see here, when I, even I am scrolling up and down, you can see these options are changing. So what does it mean? When you click on any one of the option, it will display the relevant option to this main area. And when you scroll down, what will happen? When you new values, new things are there, it will show you like this. Now these options are related to financial accounting. Similarly, if I scroll down further, you can see when human capital management there, all these options are here. Another way to look up for any of the options from here, you can click here to go further right or you can click here to go further left or if you are not uh, comfortable with this, what you can do, you can click here on the icon and uh, this down arrow. And once you click on this down arrow, you can see all the options are here. You can click any one of the option here. So when you click on this one, again, what you will see, the relevant options to this will be showing on the screen. If you scroll up or down, these options will be changed. So first thing I am going to tell you that how you are going to log in into the system. I already told you how you are going to log in into the system. And now I'm going to tell you how you are going to log off from the system. So here, we'll click on this icon and here you are going to sign out. When you click on sign out, you will be out of the system. Now what you have to do, you are going to again log in into the system. Again, you can see here, my students, here most of the time when you log off, what happened on your screen, when you try to log in again, it show you triple zero as your client number. So make sure it should be 253. Reminder, my students who are doing MIS 348 course with me. So I'm going to click on login. So I will be inside. Okay, now here I'm inside the system again. What other things you can see in this menu? You can see the recent activities, what you have done, some settings you can do with this, but it has nothing to do right now with you. I'm just uh, giving you a navigation tour. That's why I'm just showing all these things to you. A major thing that I want to show you here in this uh, video that when you are going to click on any one of this option, what you will see, you will see that there are many options relevant to this one. Like if I click here, these are the relevant options. If I click on materials management, these are the relevant options. So if anybody asks you that uh, what are the options, what are the four options related to materials management, so what you will do, you will say any of these four options. If I say what are the five options of financial accounting. 
so financial accounting options are there so this is how you can be a little bit familiar with this one and so on if you go to any other option like warehouse management and if i say four options from the warehouse management you can say all these are relevant to the warehouse management similarly sales and distribution and all these things are there so this is how what you can do you can just uh, answer some questions my students you will be having a data sheet and in that data sheet these are the uh, things you have been asked now i told you how to log in how to log off uh, once you are inside in some of the transaction like for example here you are inside this one and you want to go out from here what you do you will just click here on sap and you will be on your first screen main screen after login wherever you are if you are here and if you want to click here and if you want to get out of this you will click here so this is how you can come back from anywhere and mostly you will see in the exercises when you are finishing some step and you are required to go out of that uh, app what you do you click on here on sap logo and you will be on the main screen like if i click here also let's see what is this home if you click here on home it will bring you it will show you what are the home page apps again you can see all these home page apps are showing here so this is another way to see different apps so let's go back let's click back on this one so we are again on the when we click on sap we will be on the first screen after login so we are already here what left in this video is not a very long one let me see something here if you want to see from which user name you are logging you will click here and you will see this is your you this is my username and everybody will have different username so when you click here you will see your username similarly if you want to have some contact support you can go there you can write your message over here and then you can send so most probably they will contact you whatever the problems you are facing then about will tell you what software it is which version it is and uh, some other technical things that they are mentioning you what left you click on add finder so what add finder will do add finder will show you if you want to add some of these things you can add it here but we don't want to so what we will do we will go back from here So I think that's it with this uh, little video showing you very short video showing you the basics how you are going to navigate with your uh, SAP S4 HANA system by using this interface. I told you there is another interface that is GUI based interface. Uh, for that one you have to install the SAP system on your computer. This is web based interface. You are not required to install anything on it. You will just have a url you click on that url you will be there on the screen you put the user id password and the client number correctly and you will be in so that's it if you have any question you can put the uh, your questions on the video i will answer you inshallah till then allah is bye bye
السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ